Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Kedushin page 8, which discusses the requirement when it comes to Kedushin, to marrying a woman, it's necessary that you give her something of monetary value. Now, on this, the Talmud tells us, if you go up to a woman and you say the beautiful words, Hariat Mekudeshetli, and I wish to give you this loaf of bread, maybe not the nicest gift to give someone, unless maybe she's starving, maybe that's a great gift, but she says, oh, you're offering me bread? Throw it to the dogs. So in this situation, the Talmud says, clearly, this is not something in which indicates that she wants to marry you, and therefore it's not accepted. Even if you throw it to the dogs exactly as she said, but it's clear that she doesn't want to marry you by saying that. However, interestingly enough, the Talmud wonders, what happens if the dog that she says, I want you to throw it to, happens to be hers? So in that, interestingly enough, the Talmud says, that is a valid marriage. Now, she herself didn't eat the bread. She didn't get benefit herself from eating the bread. But she does still get benefit because she had an obligation, since it was her dog, to feed her animals. And therefore, since she told him, go feed my dog, the fact that she said that, even though maybe, again, it doesn't sound so great, again, maybe not so great that he gave want to offer her bread to marry her, but the fact that she specified and said, give it to my dog, that in itself makes it that she's married. Now, this, the Talmud comes up with a very fascinating case. What if you have this poor woman who is being chased by Cujo, being chased by a dog? And, of course, there's a very good chance that this hungry, rabid beast is going to bite her and harm her. And this guy uses this as a great opportunity. And he says, you know what? I think this is a good time for me to marry her with bread. So he takes the bread and he throws the bread. And because he threw the bread in between her and this dog, the dog decided to stop chasing her and started eating the bread. He saved her. He saved her from getting bit. Now, in this case... She also gets great levels of benefit, great benefit because she's not physically harmed by this wild animal. And therefore, maybe in fact that in itself is a good marriage. Or we say no. The reality is you as a human being, if you see that someone's doing something or an animal is pursuing someone, you need to do whatever you can to be able to save that person from getting hurt. And therefore, you should have just taken that bread anyway and thrown it toward the dog to be able to have saved my life. And therefore, that in itself doesn't prove anything. And therefore, that should not count as a valid marriage. And this, the Talmud poses this as a question, is unsure whether or not this is an acceptable uh, kedushin, a good marriage or not. But we see, interestingly enough, not only is it possible that kedushin could take place by getting benefit by you giving food to her animals, that does work, even though she didn't eat it, but her animals did, but even to avoid potential harm and potential harm and stress of knowing that you're going to be physically bit by an animal is something in which, if you know that you could be saved, is something which is also of great benefit. The question again is, is that benefit connected to the marriage or is that something that we all have to do and this again the talmud does not have an answer